A Cincinnati woman, Michelle Schuster, is accused of plowing into a group of utility workers. Today in court, witnesses described in graphic detail what they saw happen. Nine on your side's Jay Warren has been following this case from Hamilton. Jay? Well, Carol, Michelle Schuster's attorney isn't arguing that she wasn't behind the wheel or that she didn't perhaps have Xanax in her system, but that, in fact, she was drugged. In the meantime, those witnesses came forward today and testified about the carnage that they saw and the car that caused it. That car struck four workers and caused the injuries that claimed the life of Amber Rooks, who leaves behind a young son named Dylan. Tiffany McCann suffered injuries to her leg and back. She described what she saw. It took a while to register because it happened so fast. So I was just like, is that a car? And then it clicked and I was like, yeah, that's a car. It's coming. I couldn't do nothing. So I just kind of braced myself for the hit and just took it. Schuster cried through most of the testimony as the witnesses described what they saw. Blake Patton was in the bucket at the time of the collision. I turned around to see the car that had hit my bucket throw Amber Rooks over the double yellow. Officer Jeff Newman of the Westchester Police Department was providing extra security for the road crew that day and reached in to turn off Schuster's car because the engine was racing. I was trying to raise her by talking to her and, and, and checking on her, and, and, and she kind of was just kind of mumbling. There wasn't much anything that I could pick up clearly. The witnesses got emotional as they recounted what they saw. I see the car rolling backwards off of Amber's chest over her head. I look over. I see Joe crumpled in a ball, gurgling blood. I see Billy. I know he was dead. As she is charged with aggravated vehicular homicide as well as aggravated vehicular assault, this trial continues tomorrow. Jay Warren, 9 on your side, Hamilton.